We prepared this uh, video uh, during the tender stage to show the sequencing of the uh, project uh, uh, from start to uh, finish. What I want to do today is talk through the uh, sequencing and how we propose to construct this building. When we started on the project um, in the summer of 2011, the, the initial stages of the project are to set the site up. We set the site up by providing a fully enclosed uh, compound using hoarding and we then established a traffic management system. Um, the traffic management system on a particular project like this is very important because the logistics of trying to construct a, a difficult, complicated project like Derby Civic Offices is very important. As you can see from the uh, diagram, the pink represents the hoarding and you'll see the Arctic's delivery materials and we thought about how they uh, manoeuvre around the islands and how they come in and out of the site in a one-way system. Again at this stage we'll be setting the cabins up around the site, all the signage and making sure that we have a security system uh, on our gates for our personnel that come in on and off site. You can see that uh, the green at the front of the, uh, the building represents the scaffold going up. We're having a fully enclosed scaffold around the site. Um, this enables us to work on several le uh, levels at once to clean, clean the brickwork and stonework and replace the windows. The first task we're going to be doing is piling inside the courtyard and there's something like 350 piles uh, to uh, uh, install um, using CFA piling system. On top of those piles in the courtyard goes the ground beams and the, uh, the pile caps and then on top of those pile caps you'll see the steel frame will be erected. Now you'll notice the tower cranes right in the middle of the uh, central courtyard. This tower crane is installed to allow us to freely install the steel by lifting any uh, steel from the external gantry area and you can see the frame going up in phases. Once this steel frames up we'll be uh, installing the single ply membrane roof where it shows in green as we go through this sequence. Now the single ply membrane is very important because it helps us have a watertight structure to allow the internal finishes to go on. Meanwhile while we're doing this structure internally, externally we'll be cleaning uh, the brickwork and stonework, we're replacing all the windows and as you can see with the sequence going around the the existing roof we'll be taking the existing tiles off replacing the Sarkin felt and back ends and then re-putting the uh, tiling black back on again again to make a watertight structure. Once all this is complete we now can start the internal uh, uh, finishes of the building to all be dry lined out using plasterboard and all the cores will be uh, constructed using block work and then we'll come back to the roof to install the third storey as you can see in green here going on and then once the third storey is completed and the roof to that is complete all the plant will be lifted on the roof using the tower crane. Once this is done we can then connect all the plant to the main risers and then the risers go uh, across the floor plates uh, to allow all the air distribution, the heating, the ventilating and all the services to be distributed under the raised floor. Every level of this building has a raised floor, 500 mil void and all the services will pass through this and up to your desk or up to the grills to ventilate this building. Once we've done the internals, um, we, we then start to think about actually finish the building off with balustrades, with uh, glazed screens and then ultimately the, the furniture comes in and the fixed furniture go into the building. This sequence now shows on the outside of the building as finishing off the roof and ultimately what happens is the external scaffold will slowly come down when the, the external facade has been inspected to allow the scaffold to be struck and progressively uh, removed from site. This allows us then to do any external works to the car park area or the external works to Corporation Street, Derwin Street and the Riverside. And finally on this, uh, this, this structure you'll see us finishing off the roof area with walkways, with handrails and ultimately the car park area uh, will be finished and the entrance and exit gate to this car park. So uh, completion will be autumn 2012 to allow Derby City Council to move in and, and ultimately do their
computers and their uh, general uh, ff &E installation for this project. Okay. That's, uh, that's how we're going to construct this project. So thank you for listening to me and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.